What's up guys, Movie Dino here. It's been a bit since I've uploaded, but yeah, I'm coming at you with one. My top movies of 2022 is still being made, so I just thought I would pass the time to give you guys something. This is more like a, I don't really want to say personal, but like, you know those like draw my lifes, like the people do? This is sort of mine, but it's my top five favorite movies. You'll see it once I get into it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so number five. This is an animated movie. This is the only animated movie I have on this top five. This is Ratatouille. Ratatouille is... It's it's an, it's an amazing movie. It's the acting, like the, like the voice acting, every the plot just... I don't really know. It just it just clicks, especially for me. Like the music was like the main thing that actually clicked. With me. Michael Giacchino, the score was amazing. Everything just clicked, and for the, like it hasn't clicked like since the first time I watched the movie. Like the first time I watched the movie, I didn't really like it. I didn't really like it, and then I just kept finding myself uh, in the same room as p other people watching it. Like. If I go somewhere, good chance Ratatouille's on. Like, I keep seeing Ratatouille everywhere. And it finally got me. Like, I finally saw it, like, one time. I think I was, like, projecting it. And my siblings wanted to watch Ratatouille. So, okay, I'm like, shoot, we'll put on Ratatouille. And then I just, like, that was the time I fell in love with it. And, like, I just never stopped. Because, like, the music, I finally heard that music. Like, I didn't... I've never heard the music like it before, but like I finally done it. Like rather, because like you, Ratatouille is not the movie it is without the music. The music is a main focal point, if not one of the biggest focal points of the movie. It's you can't you can't have it without it, and that's what I completely love about that movie. Number four, this is. Yeah, this is the only superhero movie on this list. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. This came out in 2014. When I saw it in theaters, I was in like seventh. No, I was in like fifth grade or something like that. But so like I like I remember watching it and stuff with like my friend, and my father, all that, and I loved it. I, it was great. But then, I do what every other kid does, forget about the movie. But then, I get this calling in like 7th grade, like old music, old music, like all that. And then, I'm like, wait a minute, if I want to listen to old music, isn't there a movie that uses a lot of old music? So I went back, I watched Guardians of the Galaxy again, and I fell in love with it. That was about the time where the second one was coming out too. So, like, I watched Guardians 1, and I completely fell in love with it. Like, I loved the characters, I loved the story, the music, again, was a driving point. A massive driving point for this one. Like, one easy, easy, easy big driving point. And I feel like, yeah, m my love for that type of music, I, not gonna lie, I think that got me through middle school, which was nice. So, yeah, like, my, that, that's what my love for like that type of music that's what that movie basically did for me i don't know who i'll be i don't know how my middle school would go without that that sounds cheesy but like i feel like that's correct okay uh number three this is a sports movie you might be thinking hey what a sports movie uh, number three well this is a sort of personal sports movie but like it's I still love it all the same. Uh, Rudy. This movie came out in the 70s. I haven't seen the whole thing. I haven't seen the whole thing, like, basically all my childhood. But then, but like, I kept hearing it because it was a favorite of my, of my grandfather's, who, unfortunately, yeah, you, you guys know, uh, it was a favorite of my grandfather's, so, I always like my I I would always hear everybody talk about it like I've ne Rudy Rudy like I've never I haven't even seen it really like the full thing 
so I believe a couple months ago I think it was like a month ago or something I project Ludi I'm like you know what I I've never seen it I gotta see it and I just fell in love with it like I've seen snippets and stuff but like I fell in love with it like the music music was great very, I, I'm a big music guy so music gets me almost every time plot was just very good it made you go with the character made you rely on the character it's just I, I just loved it I really, really did okay number two number two was it was a childhood movie for me and now you're thinking wait a minute you already put an animated movie on there and you only said there would be one what else would be a childhood movie I can tell you this is not everybody's childhood movie but this was mine the Blues Brothers uh, came out in 1970 that was my childhood movie when I was young I it, Blues Brothers just came on TV a lot my dad loved watching old movies he still loves watching old movies and Blues Brothers is a movie that came up so much and the only thing that got me into it was the music like I had no clue what the movie was about I didn't even know it was really loud until like 2020 <laughs> like I had no clue what the movie was about I just loved the music like I think it was everybody needs somebody that was my favorite song out of like the whole thing I think uh, like Mini the Moocher and all that was good too I just loved it love the music and like I would da I would turn it on I would dance to it like in in the living room and stuff like I I, I just loved it and it's just been a part of me for this like my whole my whole life it's just been such a such a good movie and like it's not it's not like not like best cinematic movie of all time no 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 it's not one of those it's just just such a good movie okay and now number one now you guys are even thinking again wait a minute you said that uh you had a your two was from your childhood then like how is this gonna go in the play you'll see this movie is 1917 so uh, uh i was in i think i think it was in my freshman year of high school when this happened like i I was just in the car. My dad said, hey, we gotta go see some movies. One was Vice, which I've never, I haven't even seen it yet. We just didn't see it. But the other, he wanted to see 1917. Like he kept telling me all this like good stuff about it. I'm like, yo, I don't know much about it, but okay, yeah, I'll, sure. I'll, this is like one of my first rated R movies. So yeah, I'll go, go see it with you. So I go see it, I go see it with him. And like I get into the theater, all that. I'm, yeah, I'm a freshman, so I'm nervous about because I see the R rating. I'm like, wait a minute, this is a war movie, rated R. Oh no, how much blood is gonna be in this? How much swearing, gore, like all that? What, what am I in for right now? And it, it, it just like, it, it just, I think it changed me. I really think it did because, yeah, like I. I love film right now, but I feel like that is the movie that made me love film. It, if you don't know 1917, it's all shot in one take. One take, there's like hidden cuts in there, like all that, but it's all shot in mostly one take. Like one shot is like going through the thing, doing everything. It makes you, f it makes you feel like you're in there. Like there's no cut, there's no cuts, there's no cuts from action like there's none of that they make you feel like you're right there and i think that's just what got me like especially in the theater it just got me and i think i couldn't talk for like i was speechless for like half an hour after which was absolutely insane i don't think i've ever been speechless for that long like i've been speechless for like maybe maybe five minutes after a movie like five ten minutes i know infinity war was one of them banshee's of the sheeran was one of them i think i think so yeah it was it, it doesn't happen much but that happened and I feel like that just grew my love for movies and just made me the person I am today like I, I really do think it did okay well <laughs> that was my top five movies of all time I just wanted to get it out to you guys because it doesn't change much I'm like I'm telling you that it doesn't change much 
I don't know if it will change. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say maybe like five years. I don't think I'll find another movie as good as one of those five. I, I, I don't think so. But you know what? You never know. Directors, we'll see what you can do. Yeah, I, I sorry if this was like definitely a personal, like personal thing. I didn't really want to make it a personal thing, but that's just that's what movies are for me for some reason. They're just like the the, the works of art. If you don't think movies are works of art, like well, come on, they they are art. That is how people express it, and like it's it's absolutely insane what they do. Like how many fans each movie has. Like every movie has at least a couple fans and it's so i'm getting a, i'm getting like way out of myself right now i'm just i just love movies i'm, I'm sorry <laughs> okay well i'm gonna let you guys go that top t top movies of 2022 should be out in like a week or something May maybe i don't know i'll see when i can finish it or yeah do all that with it so yeah hope you guys enjoy yeah Movie Dino, over and out.